guys and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Next video we're going to be going back to the Power of the Force 2 line to look at another one of the figures from that line. And this one is this guy here. This is the Han Solo from the Power of the Force back in 99. So this is towards, this is about the final wave they actually released. And before we look at that we'll take a look at the packaging. So yeah it's the, as you see it's a Comtech chip. And the thing that the things that allowed it to talk, of course, because I wasn't I wasn't collecting back then. I never got one. I like the still that they've got there. On with the description it says there with blaster pistol and holster. On the back you've got the bio, which I'll read in a minute. The contact chip descriptions, so the fact that you can stand it on that. A Jedi comic thing and the figure would talk well contact chip would uh, if you stood the figure on it I believe that was more of a, a Phantom Menace release thing if they came out with those figures got some contact chips for them but I never got that I, believe, I think my cousin had it but I'm not too sure about that and there's also the other other four figures th four figures no the other three I mean from this wave I'll be the old Jedi Master Points that they used to go out. As you can see, this figure was from 99. I was showing there. So, yeah, straight from Star Wars New Hope. As you can see, it's the uh, more size the Cantina scene where he's chatting to Greedo when hand shot first, as I say. That's what I believe, as that was the original. So, yeah, here's the contact chip. So yeah, you have the little peg there, which allows Han to stand on it. And you would put that on the comlink thing, and it would talk, just like that. Of course, you've got the little image of Han on there. And the little description, Han Solo, Captain of the Millennium Falcon. I'll just quickly read to you the bio now. It says... Inside Mos Eisley's cantina, Han Solo just negotiated a lucrative deal to transport two men to Alderaan, enough to pay off his debt to Crime Lord Jabba the Hutt, but it's too late. Bounty Hunter Greedo has come to collect, though all the Rodian, th though all the Rodian gets is a shot to the chest from Solo's blaster when Han shot first. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll probably wind up keep saying that because that's what I always say. So as you see, it's not really a good figure by today's standards, but it's actually one of the better articulated figures out of the power of the force line so as we've got a swivel neck uh, swivel shoulders uh, there's the swivel elbow on this arm but not nothing on this no articulation on this arm no articulation on the wrists swivel waist swivel hips uh, hinged knees which was a feature for this time and there's actually a swivel part on the knee here this would be so you can sit hand in that position where he's under, under the table preparing his gun to shoot Greedo and the idea of this hand is you can have him picking at the wall like he does so this is overall this is this is actually a, a really good figure despite the fact it's from that long ago because I, I still pretty like it with despite the fact it's that old and you can see it includes his blaster but in a silver colour as opposed to black and what makes it different most of the power of the force figures is they kind of sorted out the size thing here because if let's use this Luke as a thing they, had, they actually had quite big guns which wouldn't even fit into the holsters even if they were accessible they would not even fit. They would not even fit. Can you see that? That holster there on Luke. That gun would not fit in that. But now it's been sized up so that it can when he's not on screen. And also the facial sculpt for this figure is quite basic. But I like the hair. The hair usage for the figure is quite good and. Pretty accurate for Han Solo, showing the young Harrison Ford. And overall, this 
this isn't a very bad figure and I, I quite like having it like having it on my shelf it's, it's the only hand I've actually got in his usual outfit I mean I've got the Death Star Escape one from uh, the Legacy Collection and the and the Hoth hand from 2009 I think it was earlier on as well from I think it's the Minox scene and I've also got him in Stormtrooper outfit and from the deleted scene from Jedi in the Legacy Collection. But we enjoyed looking at Han and I will see you next time.